Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to read your PDF file and convert it into the string and show it into the text box or rich text box. So I will show you what I have done in the last video. I click this read PDF button and I can choose any PDF file from it. So I choose this file for example and it reads all the PDF file and it parse the content of PDF file and show it into my rich text box. In this video I will show you how to convert your PDF file into the text file using your iText Sharp DLL. So for this I would need the code for which I have used in the last video. So if you don't know how I have written uh, the code for reading the PDF then go to the last video and just see how I have written the code for reading the PDF. And I will just include uh, some more lines in that code and uh, I will use uh, most of the code which I have written in the last video. So in the last video if you remember I have created this text box and this read PDF button and when I click this button I have written this code in the last video. Okay. So in that video I was able to convert my PDF file into the string and now I want to convert that string into the text file so indirectly I am converting my PDF file to the text file right so first of all we will write the code for writing that string into the PDF into the text file so go at the top for that we need uh, this using namespace so write using system.io if you have already have this namespace then uh, just leave it like that or otherwise just add this to your code okay once again i will go to the code i will just double click this read pdf button and all the contain content will remain the same from this open file dialog to the end of the catch block and to the end of the if code. What I will do is after this if condition ends here uh, outside this if condition I will write the code for converting my string into the text file. So write stream writer and give it a name file is equal to new stream no stream writer so here not stream reader but stream writer this one file is equal to new stream writer bracket and bracket closed and in the bracket you can give the path of your PDF file and the name of your PDF file so you can give like C something like this double quotes and then C and then PDF to text dot txt because it's a text file so you can give the path like this and this is the name of the text file which we are generating but because I'm generating my text file in my binary folder 
what is a binary folder just go to your project and right click it and click open folder in window explorer and it will open your project folder go to bin and go to debug if you are running your programming debug mode if you are running in release then go to release mode and in here my text file is generated will be generated that's why I'm not providing any path I'm just giving the name of the file okay and in the next line write or copy this file variable paste it here dot write and in the bracket bracket closed in here we will pass our string so if you remember in the last video we have written the code to show our parsed PDF text in the rich text box which is this rich text box so what I will do is I will just copy the name of this rich text box copy and paste it here dot text okay so what this will do is file dot write it this code contains the or this code writes the string or whatever you pass in this bracket inside the sorry inside your text file so whatever you write in this bracket will go into your text file and what we are passing here is whatever text which is there in the rich text box which we have passed from the PDF file we are transferring all the text and writing it into the text file so it's indirectly converting your PDF into the text file and in after just write file dot close bracket and bracket so just write these three lines and this is of course the rich text box dot text which contains your parsed PDF text and now I will run the code once again username and password and first of all I will open that debug folder so you will be able to see also that the text file is generated or not so I will click this read PDF and see here also I will just select this text or PDF file and open it and you see here it has generated my P PDF to text text file so whatever is here in the PDF or whatever we read from the PDF and we are showing in the rich text box it's converted into a text file so just open it and it will be having the same content content as your text box so vocabulary list vocabulary list general and topic areas general and topic areas 1 to 5 so same text so in this way you can convert your PDF file into a text file I hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now